I am happy to inform you that our FIEC annual report 2021 is online and I invite you to discover it. In it you will find an overview of the work we have done during the last 12 months. It is easy to use. Just scroll along the timeline and use the links and QR codes to access specific and more detailed information. The last 12 months have been marked by the COVID pandemic, which has impacted our activity as a lobbying organization, as well as contractors on our work sites. Having 33 national organizations from 29 different countries is one of our strengths. However, having the discussions we need between us and the European Union institutions has required us to adapt our way of working and doing so enabled us to maintain important links. One of these was with Commissioner Breton, whom I would like to thank for his support. Virtual working also facilitated webinars with software editors about the digitalization of our sector. As regards our work sites, through the exchange of best practices, we have been able to help relaunch the activities on work sites, also in those countries where everything was stopped. This was achieved with specific sanitary protocols that allowed the companies to adequately take into account the health of their workers. Overall, on the European market, our sector has suffered less than what we had initially expected and I believe that we can look at the coming years with a certain optimism. One of the main reasons is because the major European Union priorities, in particular the ambitious goals of decarbonizing our economies by 2050 and the investments of the recovery plan cannot be achieved without the direct involvement of the construction sector. We are willing to play our role, but we also need a framework that allows us to do so. Currently, our companies are confronted with significant increases in the prices of construction products and materials, as well as disruptions on our supply chain, and difficulties to find workers with the right skills and competences. Without the right answer to these concerns, the achievement of our main goals is at risk. It is for this reason that we are working with our member federations to further strengthen the role of FIEG as the main voice of the construction industry in the European Union institutions and to find appropriate solutions. Before I let you take a look at the annual report, I would like to thank all our contacts in the European institutions, in particular the construction unit in the European Commission, and those members of the European Parliament who have opened their doors to us. We thank our social partner, the European Federation of Building and Woodworkers, our friends in the Construction 2050 Alliance, my colleagues in the Steering Committee, the contractors and staff of our member federations and our FIEC team in Brussels. I wish you a good reading and I encourage you to share our annual report widely.